What's up guys? It is Ray Ace here and we are about to get into episode two of or part two rather not episode. Anyways, part two of Life is Strange Remastered. And the last time we left off, I can't fucking remember. But I tried to do Life is Strange 2 and I just I couldn't really finish it. The story just to me I didn't couldn't find as interesting. Like, I finished it, but it wasn't one I wanted to post on here because it didn't seem like it would be my kind of commentary, basically. Oh, that's right. I lied to the principal. Everything looked kind of weird. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Probably nothing good. If I remember correctly. As I said, I did play I'm this sad. series before. Excuse I think she got me, killed. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. <laughs> but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's fair. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. Yep. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Yeah. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's okay. a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, I before love I assign you homework story with based. Lecture, Will you games? please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? I played uh, Telltale. Oh, we already are in 1984, honey. Trust me. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Oh, thank you. Hey there, Stella. Hey, Stella. I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, Why I would, would you definitely be? make a move. No, you wouldn't. We all talk like this in school. No, we don't. We don't sit there and we do not do it unless you're one of the rich kids or a kid that actually has an ego the size of a fucking cliff. But most guys just secretly do that. Or most women secretly do that. They don't sit there and do what Victoria Chase is doing and actually go sit on the boy's lap. Oh, well, I can't say that. I don't. I've known some people. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Uh. Oh. Okay. Don't ignore this message. God damn, dude. I just pulled it up. Bro. God, you might have a fucking Dahmer situation here. This dude. In the span of. Like. God. Don't ignore this message. Hi, Max. 
Okay, I better okay. get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I'm trying to get used to a new mouse. A little bit heavier. See? I'm trying to get a little bit used to it. Oh, dude, you got a cool ass style. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh, I do actually remember correctly. It is. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. No? I was trying to remember how to do it. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're working. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Who talks like this? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. I will remember that. Yes, pictures of Rachel Amber, the girl that went fucking missing. I'm trying to get used to trying to use this mouse, man. This mouse is like witchy. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bruh. Bring it, bruh. It's bruh. Yeah. Hey, bring it, bruh. Not bruh. Bring it, bruh. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Yeah, you do, bruh. Oh, the three Muska bitches yeah. is here. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. You're on the bricks. I could just slam your head right there. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Go fuck your selfie. That was actually really, really fucking clever. I actually like that one. Go fuck your selfie. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Okay. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. No. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Awesome. Oh, Kate. <laughs> I think I might have rewinded too far back for no apparent reason. But okay, let's see if this works. Nice. Oh, please. God damn, dude, you're taking one step at a time, ain't you? What the hell? Are you kidding? 
Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Girl, you're about to have a really bad day. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. No. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah, he is a little weird, but I don't hold think on, he. Hold on, we'll get some towels. We'll be right back. I don't so move your ass there. before I dry. Yeah. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Now, for you, go fuck your selfie. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? No. I'm gonna be a straight Don't. dick. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So does Nathan. Ain't Nathan the one that was bra- I don't now think that's actually a good idea. I actually don't think that was a good idea. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Oh, God. There's the pretentiousness well, of that coat. you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've Don't be pretentious. Pictures. You have a great eye. Richard yeah. Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was actually fucking funny. That was mean, but pretty funny. At least Max has a good days, sense of you know? humor. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Au revoir. For me, it's adios de gracias. Victoria probably played me. It means I should have played her. her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. I'm not very good with Spanish. I'm still kind of learning it due to where I'm working at, as which is a welding. I work with a lot of, yeah. So I'm trying to learn it that way. I'm not an asshole. That way, I kind of know everything. Hurry, Courtney. I don't know, I feel bad when like, somebody's talking and Victoria I can't understand. Oh, uh. Let's erase that. Be the change you wish to see. You aren't. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Hey! That, he's a YouTuber. Ain't he? Ain't that like a... I'm trying to remember. Ain't that isn't... Ain't there a reference to a YouTuber in this? Or did they take it out? I'm trying to remember. I remember that there was like a reference to a YouTuber or something on one of the drawings. And I think that might be it, but I'm not for sure. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up.
Hey, hi, honey. Your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior, that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are all grown up now. Uh, ooh, okay. Not to a part, Dan. I am so addicted to this site. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. I think it might be because somebody's got a crush on you. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Oh, analog. Oh, golly, what a fantastic uh -huh. eye. He could truly freeze time. So by analog, who remembers bunny ears in the red, yellow, and green, or sometimes black, sometimes blue, depending on what set of cords you had, what you were using them for. Uh, but nine times out of ten, yeah. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Yeah, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. How does that work? How do you lock you somebody in the bedroom? Ain't the lock on the inside? If you don't let me out, I will scream. I'm trying to figure out. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. The other ones just I didn't do. make sense. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Julia so Olson. how did you find out about them? Actually, that According does to Victoria, sound. Dana would okay. do anything to date a quarterback. Pretty cool name. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Okay. Uh, let's go and break into her room. Ooh. Oh no, I'm just waiting for like the actual, trying to figure out what's going on and why we are here. So far it really hasn't that. Uh, Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Huh. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's mm -hmm. one of the best sci-fi films ever made. No. No. No, it wasn't. No. You've ever watched Final Fantasy Spirits Within? Fucking no. That that is time you will never get back. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How do you... Okay. Why do you exit the menu to go back into a menu to print it? This feels like a fucking David Cage game. With a little bit more this interaction. better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. David Cage games... They're they're 50 50. They're either really good like Detroit become human and On the opposite end of the spectrum you have beyond two 
I want a fan of Beyond Tuesday. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. So I'm I dropping shit. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. <laughs> Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. How does that work? Still. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Ugh, I'm gonna pop my back. He's, He's a, a good, good guy. guy. A geek like me. You uh, saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Oops. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Never. Never fucking do that voice again. Never. Never do that hey, voice. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Not my Sorry business. Sorry to cry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Here. Fuck this shit. Ow. Ah. Damn. I better rewind. Shit. The shit. 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 The shit. Ow. That oh, that's so priceless. And I'll move you out of the fuck away. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Oh yeah. By the way, way thanks, but we're not friends. Okay, I don't want to be your friend, you pretentious cunt. Uh, are you okay? <clears throat> so don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? 
Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. He's... I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. He seems like he's on a mission. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should... Blind in my own bit. Fuck no. Dude, this is fucking crazy, man. Can't wait to actually see what the time travel abilities actually does. I can't full on remember. But I know it almost destroys like a shit ton of things, people. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Ha! Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? Me too. It's been one strange fucking day. Hundred years too I late. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The movie booty? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems yeah. apropos today. I consider myself a pop... The original Twilight Zone. Connoisseur. The black and that white. That does sound better than Thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? Oh. So you're sensitive. What the fuck? Ouch. That sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> life changing. Are have you, you about ever to? I had a dream so real it was like a movie. Max Caulfield, right? All this psycho nut. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh no! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! 
Twin Peaks. <laughs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! How'd you keep get shot then? Nobody! Nobody! And there's David Madsen. All right. I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. And subscribe, like, comment down below. And yeah, until next time, see y'all.